Decision Plus has been and still is a leading stock market service provider. From training to coaching, we cover it all. Try both our software as well as our coaching site completely free for 10 days without obligation. No credit card is needed to sign up for the trial. The trial subscription will be automatically canceled for you at the end. DecisionPlus.com, your stock market service center. Real-time coaching has been created. We search and classify critical reports and technical movements. You can visualize or hear the best buying and selling opportunities. Get real-time advice all day long and three live coaching shows per day. Let us do the work and save your time for trading. Try MarketGurus.tv free without obligation for 10 days in the menus above. Market Vision Plus is the trading companion of so many investors. Make your fundamental and technical analysis easy with Canada's number one stock market decision making software. Research, decide, and follow your positions with Market Vision Plus. See the menus just above this program and try Market Vision Plus for 10 days without any obligation after the show. When it comes to day trading, Trader Plus is the right tool. Track 50 quotes simultaneously, create dozens of quick lists, display as many as 30 real-time intraday charts at the same time, watch the action with candlesticks or bar charts as fast as 10 seconds, see the market by sectors, use the chart models already prepared for you. Try Trader Plus for 10 days in the menu above without any obligation. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Swing Trading Show, Wednesday, September 26, 2018. Okay, uh, we, we have a quiet market at the moment because uh, the FOMC is uh, in a, an hour and 15 minutes so far. And uh, the, uh, uh, we are, it's a super Fed, we call it. So uh, uh, there will be some announcement there everyone knows that they're going to increase the rates but we don't know how many times and uh, we don't know if they got how many times they will do it in 2019 uh, too so uh, I think the market is waiting for this right now as it hasn't done anything since a while uh, let's see it here so you see the market went up this morning but uh, you know right now it's it's on slow motion it's it's pretty quiet so everything is waiting for that and uh, on the TSX I mean uh, all resources went down this morning at a certain point the oil stock went up despite the fact that the USO was not going up so you see uh, let me uh, show you the whole uh, movement here so you see USO went down uh, this morning oh, wait a sec here okay USO went down and it remains down it went up a little bit well at the when the inventory came out at 10 30 but it was very very momentarily and uh, as you see the gold uh, has been uh, going down and the, the gold stock has been going down too all morning so you know it's not very positive there uh, the, certainly uh, the gold could move the crude oil could move some many things can move at two o'clock but we're we don't know yet what you know so uh, it's not very very clear and the cannabis had some difficulties today because uh, today uh, uh, Ontario is supposed to come out uh, with uh, all uh, the uh, the the rules about uh, the uh, the retail sales and uh, it's the only province that uh, hasn't uh, uh, 
uh, provided yet uh, all of the guidance there. So uh, I don't know if the market is nervous about that, but uh, most of the gold stock went down this morning and uh, there has been only a, a, bi a little bit of recovery, but not that much. So it's pretty calm today. And it's the same thing that continues again. As far as I'm concerned, the whole market is uh, a cannabis market is now in a neutral zone so you see all a uh, uh, triangle formation and 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 very um, a neutral formation as well so um, you know so, so it's going to take a little while i think until we see something else uh, we had uh, just a few financial results this morning the first one being a nike going down on the gold results uh, 63 to 67 I'll be home 77 to 87. The stock started on the right side, but ended up uh, negative. And uh, car max 123 to 124. Same thing. Stock went up, down, and then it's now zero. So uh, Cancer Genetics um, has concluded uh, an agreement to, to supply uh, uh, some materials to Agilent Technology. Delta Airline, it was uh, an interruption of their uh, computer system yesterday and did not cause anything major. And Aldiria Therapeutic uh, announced a good result on its first phase uh, on a cure called Mesothelium Plural Malin. So oof, the stock went up like crazy this morning. We had it in the top five uh, tra uh, in day trading and the stock has provided a few uh, nice signal. And uh, there's one uh, more stock uh, I've been notified uh, that uh, came in the market this morning on the venture. It's another cannabis stock uh, called FLWR. And look, it was crazy. The stock opened at four bucks. And in one, two, three, four minutes, the stock went from four dollar to seven dollar. And it is around seven dollar right now uh, after a couple of, of, of cycles. And uh, but it now it's now pretty calm. So if you're in this stock, uh, there's a sell signal at, at, at under 650 and a very short term buy signal at 735. And and this is it for that stock so far. And um, we have a couple of other news also. Uh, one is on uh, uh, XO, and uh, the stock is doing nothing. <clears throat> they will create. They, they, they plan to create a, uh, a treatment cent uh, center uh, for the production and the distribution in Greece. So they say it's going to open the door uh, for, for them in uh, Europe, but the stock is not reacting because it's, it's just a plan. It's not done yet. They said whenever <coughs> the, uh, the everything is legal there. And Supreme Cannabis has signed an, accord, uh, an agreement uh, to supply uh, to Tilray $12 million worth of uh, medical cannabis uh, for 12 months. Uh, and this is for Tilray's uh, Canadian uh, healthcare customers. And uh, uh, by the way, Tilray uh, is not really moving on this. And you know, the stock went from 300 bucks to 111 right now. So I think, you know, you better stay away from it until we see the stock going out of uh, this uh, very uh, important and significant um, pattern. Okay, what do we have here? Okay. Um, now, okay, AIM, what is your opinion of that stock? Oh, uh, yeah, I got this question a couple of times today. Uh, the stock is definitely uh, going up. It's a bullish cycle, but it's in third days in, in, uh, within its bullish cycle. And to me, it seems to be the end of that bullish cycle. As uh, since uh, yesterday, the stock is mostly going sideways, up and down already today. So there might be a little bit of juice in there, but I don't think we should enter at this level. This movement started at 422 to 425, and it's now 450. And uh, so the, the movement, you know, it, it's not a stock that provides big uh, a percentage. So I would wait for the next signal before buying in this thing.
Find answers to your questions by emailing your host at btm at decisionplus.com. Five good reasons to manage your investments with National Bank Direct Brokerage. Commission fees fixed at $9.95 anytime for all clients and starting at only $6.95 for active investors. No administrative fees if you hold at least $20,000 in your accounts. Registered accounts available in U.S. currency. Powerful tools to help you manage your portfolio. Award-winning customer service and satisfaction levels amongst the highest in the industry. To learn more, visit nbdb.ca or call us now. Welcome back. Um, and uh, so let's see what's going on here. Uh, something, nothing happening. You know, uh, it, it's going up and down. It, it didn't go very, very far on the cannabis, and it seems like it's going to come down once more. So I don't know. Uh, maybe we can expect something. Uh, I don't know. It's supposed to be today. Will this come out during the day or, or after the closing? We don't know about the Ontario rules. And uh, so that might cause something whenever it comes out. But for the moment, there's nothing. So I, I suggest that that you put some alarms on, on the top of the movement that, that you can see on most of the stock right now. Like you see like Kronos, it's so evident uh, that the breakout would be 14, 35, 38. So, uh, and uh, if something happened this afternoon, so the software is gonna ad uh, war uh, ad advise you so um, and uh, so you know uh, for for the energy sector, there's nothing going on there. So uh, I I think we have we have to wait and uh, we have to watch it also because it, it, you know uh, if if suddenly the crude oil would go up uh, more than because you know right now uh, the the crude oil is at its top, so it's going to take a, a bit to, so it can break it. So I think if it would ever break. The, the 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 big double top here. I think we have a chance uh, to to see arriving uh, a few buy signal because so far everything that went up, you know, so it was very uh, weak and fragile. Look at Canadian Natural Resources seems to be a breakout, but still within a downtrend, you know. So uh, and 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 most in most cases, look, uh, I have many many stocks that I have uh, placed in my list here that are totally sideways and. And, uh, and uh, all of those could become, re even though they're oversold, uh, overbought right now, uh, I mean, it means nothing, you know, because it's a new, it's a bullish cycle. So, you know, so there are many uh, places for breakout here. Imperial oil would be breaking out clearly uh, at the $43. And uh, a ski is just past this summit here, 2290 something. Uh, Kelt, it would be like 850, uh, 45 and something for Pembina. And uh, many, many, uh, there are many stocks there right now that are showing that uh, if the, 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 the oil sector would make a nice jump, we could have many buy signal. But on the gold sector, forget about it, it's over. It's just right now producing another negative peak, so don't embark in there unless we see numerous uh, breakout sh things that is not happening right now. So look at Kinross coming back down, so it's getting further and further away from a buy signal that would be 405, 410. And on the mining is the same story, it's correction all over the place. Most of the stock are under correction right now, except Labrador Iron Ore, as the, 
the, the, uh, again here, uh, 2850 uh, would be uh, probably a nice uh, breakout. And for the, all the rest of the sectors, I mean, it's not a, con a, a, a favorable condition uh, to buy in right now because they're all pulled back within downtrend or sideway movement. Uh, uh, so <clears throat> telecom, it's a pullback within a downtrend. The financials, it's a pullback within the, the after breaking through the support yesterday. So it's coming where it was before. So there's no signal there. Only Royal Bank, I made an attempt this morning, but it did not continue. And uh, the increase on the industrial sector is no different than any other increase we had since a couple of months there. Real estate is co doing a correction. Uh, the utilities are just uh, bouncing back and uh, the uh, staples are doing nothing again and neither the technology. So you see there is no sector in really in movement right now and uh, and for the cannabis it is a correction starting from the double top. And if you look at it closely, that's what I said last week, I predicted the stock to stay neutral for a while, and that's what's happening on most of the stock. So they're all sideway movement or uh, simply a triangle formations like we see so many like that here, Organigram and, uh, and uh, uh, Exo and uh, CanTrust and uh, Village Farm, so they, they're all the same. So there's no bullish cycle anywhere there. So the, the market is is trying to settle right now. So uh, waiting for the, the, the another announcement, I think. But in swing trading, there's no entrance point there. And in day trading, there might be uh, something la later during the day. But you know, you have to really to watch it. Like uh, Afria here is making an attempt again. Will it do it? Uh, you know, so it's uh, you. You, it's almost the only one. And uh, for uh, uh, Tilray also, but you know, with the big resistance right there at 50 cents higher, I think it's a too big of a risk. So I think I would let let it settle at around uh, 113, uh, 112 and 50, and a breakout following at 113. There, it, it could be interesting at that moment. But uh, for now. Uh, I mean, uh, I would just pass on it and wait until we see some movement. It's the Dow right now that is uh, pushing up. Uh, uh, what well, it wasn't expected that, but that's what is doing right now, right here. I have the sector here. Actually, the healthcare sector, uh, the healthcare sector is, is quite interesting too in in United States. Let me show you that. I have made a, a some. Uh, um, uh, class, uh, I, I classified. Uh, here uh, the sector so you can see the sector breaking through its resistance here so you have uh, the the healthcare uh, XLV is breaking out as well and the uh, uh, the IBB keeps going up so so within the stock you know you have stocks that are really driving right now like Alexion, Vertex, Edwards, uh, Coopers, uh, Medtronic, Abbott you know so a lot of them and then I have a bunch of stocks here that are uh, susceptible to make breakout sooner uh, in 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 uh, uh, soon I'd say not soon maybe not in the next hour but you A N T M T M O uh, attempting to break out Lily Ali uh, Bristol Myers Intuitive Surgical uh, Baxter you know all these stocks whenever they break out look you have Danaher here that is beginning now a movement D H R and we have you have a Cigna also that we uh, we keep following. We have a position on it already, and uh, the next breakout would be another good breakout at 205 approximately, uh, 205. So this is it for today. I have no more questions. So I wish you a very good uh, afternoon and watch for the uh, OFOMC at two o'clock. Uh, there could be some movement, but you know, but be careful. Don't buy in at the first jump, no matter the size they, they, they go, uh, because uh, many, many times there is a little period of volatility and sometimes the movement is reversing uh, not long after. So we suggest to, 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 uh, to not to take uh, 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 the, the decisions too rapidly at 2 o'clock. This is it for now. Have a nice afternoon.